A number of years ago, I was traveling to a conference with a colleague of mine, and as we were on the road there, she kept commenting about the uh, beautiful foliage. It was fall, and the leaves were changing color, and she was just really excited about that and interested in the fall foliage and kept pointing things out, and, oh, do you see this and that? And eventually, she was she was a little bit uh, mortified when I explained to her that I was colorblind and hadn't wanted to say, no, I really don't see the different foliage that you're seeing, that it all looks just kind of different shades of green to me but uh, but and she was just really taken aback by that never having considered that maybe I wasn't seeing the same thing she wasn't totally not her fault that was she had no idea no way of knowing that that would be the case but still kind of a funny story that we talk about up to this day really uh, just a, and, and a great way to, to illustrate though that people see things differently people approach things with different perspectives. It's it's really something that connects very deeply to what we call frame of reference, which is what I'd like to speak to you about in this video, our frame of reference and the way that affects our communication. So to define frame of reference, first, it's the collection of beliefs, values, knowledge, experiences, cultures, and other factors used to filter perceptions and create a unique understanding of a situation or stimuli. Now, that's a mouthful right? That's a mouthful, but it's basically everything that makes us who we are goes into what we call our frame of reference. It's sort of this filter between, between how we experience the world and our own brain and the way that we interpret these things, the way that we understand things in communication in general. So if we look at the broader, you know, model of communication in general, this would fall into sort of in that context area where, you know, our, our frame of reference affects every other aspect of communication. So it really is affected by, um, by the context of things and, and by who specifically you're speaking with. Um, or if we looked at something like listening in particular, we see frame of reference show up down at the bottom there where, where all of those things factor into how we go about hearing something, how we understand something, how we interpret things, how we remember things are all impacted by the, the, the factors that would make up our frame of reference, right? So frame of reference affects every aspect of communication. So let me give you just a quick um, illustration here. Uh, let's say that we have a gentleman uh, who's walking down the street, just walking down the street, minding his own business, and then uh, running down the street in the opposite direction, this, this person sees a dog. Okay. Now, when this happens, they're, they're going to, you know, see those stimuli. We know this from perception, right? They're, they're going to, they're going to select those stimuli. They're going to see that animal running toward them, see the dog running toward them. They're going to organize that into this is a dog, and uh, and then they're going to start to interpret. Though they're going to, it's going to pass through that filter that I mentioned before, which is our frame of reference, right? So everything, every every person has an absolutely unique filter frame of reference. And in that filter, that filter is made up of all those things we talked about, your beliefs, your culture, your values, your knowledge, your experience, your education, your, your everything that makes you who you are is in that filter. And so everything that we process is going to go through that. And that's going to be unique for every single person. No two people have the exact same collection of those things. So, so when this guy is walking down the street and he sees his dog running at him and it passes through that filter, if he's had like uh, some bad experiences with dogs in the past, and he's grown up, he got bit by a dog and he has this kind of fear of dogs, then he's going to be kind of, you know, have these fearful emotions probably, or, or be like, keep that dog away from me. I don't want anything to do with it. And he's going to be anxious maybe about the dog running up toward him. Um, or if he's somebody who's had really positive experiences with dogs and is a dog person, then he's going to be like, oh my gosh, that is a really beautiful dog. I want to pet that dog. I hope it runs up toward me and I can um, greet this dog. And, uh, you know, two very different things. And maybe any range of emotions in between there. Maybe you're not a dog person. You're not necessarily afraid of dogs. You just don't care about dogs. You're just going to kind of ignore it probably, right? Every person is going to react differently in that situation because of that frame of reference. They're going to uh, be affected differently by that. It's sort of like we all have different glasses on. Right? If we all have different glasses, we all have different views of the world through that because of the different glasses that we're wearing. We all see the world through a slightly different lens and slightly different uh, uh, perspective because of that. Okay. So frame of reference affects every aspect of communication. It's one of the reasons that, you know, somebody could say something and you hear something totally different or have a different understanding of things. It's a reason that people understand, end up on two different pages with different things, you know, whether it's political beliefs or religious beliefs or whatever, all of that passes through the frame of reference and gives us a totally unique understanding of whatever it is we're experiencing. 
culture impacts us strongly. Of course, when you look at somebody from a different culture, that is deeply ingrained in their frame of reference and, and affects that. And, and as I mentioned before, it affects listening as well. We all hear things differently um, and interpret things differently in the listening process because of frame of reference. We're hearing it's passing through that filter for us a little bit differently. So the most important thing for us to understand with frame of reference is that in general, in life, it, it, think of it as looking, you know, if we come up on a door, we come up on a door, it's totally blocked off, but there's a keyhole. We look through that keyhole, we're going to see a, pers a, a, a particular perspective, right? We're going to see something specific. That's going to be our frame of reference. Our frame of reference is limited by uh, our beliefs, our values, our experiences, and so forth. Uh, but what we want to do is, if, if not expand our frame of reference, we at least want to expand our understanding of, you know, what is possible. So we may look through this keyhole and just see the, the tree on the other side, right? And we think about this perceptively. We just see this tree. But what we may be missing is the rest of the vista. That if we're only looking through that keyhole. So we've got to be able to, to say, okay, this is what I'm seeing, but it's possible that other people are experiencing this differently and seeing it differently. And okay, that doesn't mean we have to agree with them or, or validate what they're saying, but we need to at least understand how they might be coming to that differently because they have a different frame of reference related to whatever it is we're communicating about. Hope this helps you understand frame of reference a little bit better. If you have questions about any of that, please feel free to email me. I'd be happy to um, to, to share more with you on the topic via email. So uh, let me know. Otherwise, I hope this again has enhanced your understanding of frame of reference and allowed you to see things a little bit differently and at least understand how other people may be seeing things a little bit differently because of their unique frame of reference. <music>